we head up for our first trip of the night to Maryland, Baltimore, Maryland, as it were. She, her, her faith in Christ has been the anchor in many of her life's changes, losses, and storms as a worship leader for the past 20 years and as an award-winning songwriter. Her songs inspire and encourage audiences and listeners. Her husband, Paul, has accompanied her on guitar. Together, they have traveled to Estes Park, Colorado, where they were semi-finalists in the Christian Artists Duo category. With her husband or with her band, she has given concerts in the Mid-Atlantic area of Maryland, Virginia, West Virginia, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Pennsylvania, Delaware, New Jersey, as well as Tennessee. Uh, she thanks the Lord for opening all the doors she has had the grace to go through from singing with her band in many different settings and singing for urban outreaches, churches, coffee houses, and private benefit concert events. In 2013, her and her band raised money for Somebody Cares for their Hurricane Sandy relief efforts. And with her band, she has also raised money for the Coalition for the Homeless in Maryland. And she has learned many lessons while working with well-known artists in the CCM field, such as Glad, Scott, and Christine Dente, formerly known as Out of the Gray, and a songwriter's retreat with Dove Award winner, Phil Madeira. She has also opened for the group Sela, such a good band, with a new single, of course, Heart of Compassion. It's written by Gary Puckett and his brother, David Puckett. And of course, up the Narrow Road, which we play on our radio network as well. Great song as well. Her, She continues to resonate a message of hope in her songs. Please welcome alongside Paul. Please welcome Lisa Fenstermacher to Red's Room. Guys, how are you? Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thanks for having us again. Good to see you, Joseph. Good to see you guys as well. Uh, since Thanks. you last were with us uh, on Red's Room, what has musically kept you busy this last little bit? Well, this year we played um, twice in Pennsylvania, and uh, that's been a lot of fun. That's been a great, uh, great outreach times with the band and in the studio in May for another single. <laughs> That'll wow. be out sometime, hopefully the end of the year, first of the year. Yep. Fantastic. Of course, uh, love and playing your tunes on our radio network. Uh, Up the Narrow Road has done really well on there. Oh, thank love you. Love that one. Just uh, love this. Honor to have you guys here tonight, Lisa and Paul. They'll be having a four song set to share with you tonight. Lisa, what's the first song you got to share this evening with us? Um, we're going to, we played at David's Tent um, some time ago. I think it was 2016. 2016, uh, David's Tent uh, is in Washington, D.C. Um, for the purpose of praise and worship, kind of 24 hours. For a while, it was 24 hours continually, every day. <laughs> and um, artists from all over the country would take like two-hour set and just do worship. So um, some of the members of the band and Paul and myself um, drove down to DC and did a worship set. And we're gonna do one of the songs that we did for David's Tent. And uh, it was written by Jeff Deo. It's called Bless the Lord. Good stuff. Lisa Fenstermacher here in Red Room, alongside Paul. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, oh my soul, praise the 
Great stuff there by Lisa and Paul Fenstermacher right here on Red's Room. Rosanna Price says, wow, awesome voice. Love the lyrics. Love it. Blessings to you all. Of course, uh, it's only her second time watching on Red's Room tonight. Welcome aboard. Great to have you here tonight. Powerful song, says Demetria. Nice to see you aboard tonight. Beautiful song, says Christy Fant. Good evening to you. And everyone tuning in for Red's Room tonight. Uh, what's up next around the corner for you guys? More songwriting, more working on a latest release coming by the end of the year, more performing, a little bit of all the above. Well, I'm definitely working on the release. And then on the on the back of that, there's another song um, co-written with um, uh another song co-written with phil madera and he co-wrote up the narrow road the song coming out was co-written by a member of our band and former producer michael sorry and um so we hope to do those both singles in god's timing <laughs> and Actually, listening to Dave, we are kind of like in the same place with the band. Just nothing on the calendar. <laughs> so it's the same thing. It's either, you know, raining or it's, you know, it's, it's a, another season. So the thing is, t I felt like the Lord was saying, come to the quiet and... A friend reminded me that it's in coming to the quiet that we can really hear from God. It's like, oh yes, <laughs> yeah, it does work that way. It does. It's, it, it's scripture oftentimes refers to the Lord as the still quiet voice. Hmm. So sometimes amidst all the noise, amidst all the chaos, sometimes sometimes we need to declutter a little bit and and yeah. kind of hone in and find out what He wants for us. 
Kevin, apparently your bass player is tuning in with us here on the Zoom tonight. Good evening to you, Kevin. Welcome aboard. Uh, now, also tonight, of course, we have a couple more songs way to come here tonight. We've got also a couple more artists around the corner as well. Lisa, Paul, what's your guys' second song tonight? Up the Narrow Road. <laughs> tune from you guys uh such a catchy fun tune love it Thank you. uh paul and lisa fenstermacher kevin over there says hey, 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 singing <laughs> harmonies from here oh, that's great <laughs> hi kevin <laughs> that's okay i i i was i i know the words of that song too having played it enough as i i was doing the same thing so Aww. don't feel bad there kevin uh christy on facebook says beautiful Red and Lisa Demetrius says, love the song. Good stuff there. 
when you guys are sitting Praise down God. to uh to write music what when you're sitting when you're writing a song like up the narrow road do you oftentimes get the the words and then the instrumentals come behind it does it start with a melody and then you craft the words around it is it just a clean slate when you're sitting down right to tune what what goes through the process for you yeah i had nothing <laughs> I had absolutely nothing and I had an appointment online to co-write with Bill Madeira and I prayed and basically I picked up the guitar and I got the first verse and the melody and the whole the whole thing like that. Wow. And so uh you know the appointment started and i said phil all i have is just this little part this little verse and he said well play it he said oh well we can work with that <laughs> and it went from there what have you enjoyed much like up the narrow road what have you enjoyed most about the whole co-writing experience for you um i think uh well i've co-written with the people that I've co-written with have always um, been steps ahead of me and had a lot of experience writing and with music. And so they tend to ask you questions like, what is this song about? They make you search your heart for you know what you're trying to say you know they really stretch you you know so they stretch yeah. they have stretched my writing they've stretched my faith <laughs> yep good stuff there oh let me read this real quick dana elizabeth says blessings carl stanifer Oh. says lisa you and paul sound better than ever oh. i pray the lord blesses me with the opportunity to play at least one more concert with you yes. Love you guys oh thank you carl was in our band he played saxophone flute guitar oh. and mandolin and we would love if he could play another concert for sure good stuff thank you and carl. it's his wife's birthday today oh happy birthday there you happy go thank you for to tuning in tonight. pleasure to have you along uh carl and dana and everybody watching tonight out there in facebook or zoom land great to have you with us on the saturday night edition of red's room uh, third song song three what you guys got for us um you've heard it before we've played it um so to go back a little bit joe and joe and pat who are on Red's room right now. Um, we, Paul and I started playing worship for a ministry that we were all involved in. And uh, it really guided where, how God was going to use the music and the message. And it was for a lot of uh, hurting people and recovering people from life um what they've gone through and everything so i started listening to ashley cleveland and ashley cleveland has a remarkable redemption story herself and i just love her songs and this is one of her songs that i just keep doing over and over again and like dave was saying god i think lets you know uh, either at the start of the calling that he's put on your life and then he also reaffirms that calling in different ways and like Dave was given that message of hope to give hope bring hope the same pretty much in the calling God has given me in music and I really thank the co-writers and my band and people like Pat and Joe who've been with us for decades and Christy who's, um, we're both in the same church right now, Nations Church Online. And Christy's a prayer warrior. 
Pat and Joe are prayer warriors. Kevin's a prayer warrior. Kevin's in our band. Um, you know, all the people that come alongside in music and writing, Red's Room, the other artists, Joseph, everyone, you know, we all need each other. And we all, you know, help each other, work on these skills, work on, you know, our keeping our attitude right, <laughs> keeping our faith bright, keeping our eyes on the Lord. It, it just takes so much. <laughs> it really does. And I'm, I'm just, and, and the main thing is, uh, you know, God is always there. Jesus is always there. He's real. He never leaves us nor forsakes us. He wants us to get to know him better. He wants to come alive in our hearts in a, in a closer way. So this next song was written by Ashley Cleveland. It's called You Are There. Paul and Lisa Fenstermacher right here on the Saturday edition of this. There's so many words that I can hear in the poverty of my soul till the light pulled in my true love's tears and now I know if I will crawl up out of this barren land then I will
Fantastic stuff. Lisa and Paul Fenstermacher right here on the Saturday Night Edition of Red's Room. Christy Fant says, uh, yes, we are never alone. Amen. amen. Demetria, amen. Ah, music is so beautiful. Uh, it's a comment out there on Facebook as well. Nice to have everyone along. If you're watching us on Zoom, if you're watching us on Facebook, you're tuned in on the edition of Red's Room about halfway through tonight. Uh, Joe uh says out there uh lisa still <laughs> sitting at the table praying to god that he makes the best of me thank Aww. you amen there you go who who over the years are some of the great influences that have helped shape your musical style and musical journey along the way um well i love out of the gray um yeah um Gosh, from all the classic rock people, <laughs> for sure. Um, there's just so many artists. I love um, Jars of Clay. I love that song, Flood. Yes. And huge Switchfoot fan. There you go. There's, there's two for Switchfoot there. Yeah. there go. Gone to see them in concert um, yeah, during right. the lockdown they did a lot of um you know streaming live streams just a great uh attitude and a and band that, a band that caught my attention too that you opened for uh it, it looks like an, a fantastic band by the way uh, yeah. uh is the band Sela. what was that like that was amazing um they're just they were a trio and when we opened for them and just powerhouse voices oh my word yeah and they had driven so far i think they drove all the way from down in virginia and to the eastern shore of maryland there used to be a venue that was started by a christian family um the venue is called jam and java it later got then they opened up another jam and java in vienna virginia um, but then it got bought by two brothers the brindley brothers um who are still running it but when we opened for sale it was on kent island in maryland which is the eastern shore and i just remember they were like oh my gosh they drove and 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 then they knocked it out of the ballpark like just a powerhouse of voices and solid message and that was that was like an introduction <laughs> to ccm like hello <laughs> i remember i think we had one album i had one album out and their table it was like all these cds were stacked up and people <laughs> and people and i had like one little album and and i remember just after the concert people just like rush their table <laughs> it was really and and they're um you know their parents were missionaries mm. yeah the brother and sister they were missionaries in africa which was interesting because 
Paul Langford, who produced the first album and he, of mine, he was a member of GLAD, so some of GLAD played on the album. Well, like all, all of GLAD except Ed Null. But Paul Langford was also the son of a missionary surgeon and, and to Hong Kong. So that's another area of the, of the music God's given me. I have um, always also been in and around, you know, missionaries. And yeah, we mission. have a missionary friend, Myra, uh, and she's been a missionary to Guatemala. And we actually did a, a fundraiser at Jam and Java for Myra. Fantastic. Yeah. Paul and Lisa Fenstermacher, they've got a heart for the Lord, heart for mission work, heart for his people. So honored to have their gift of music right here on Red Zoom. They've got one more song for us. Paul and Lisa, tell us about it and take it away here. Um, it's a song Paul and I co-wrote. It's called Of All, and this was um, produced by Scott Dente, and it's available online. <laughs> I never say that about my music, but like it's all online. It's out there. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Just a little technical thing. Okay, here we go. Of all the words that have been written, Sweetest ones are, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they've done. And the words I cherish that you've said to me, are these your forgiven, set free. that have been given bread and wine for everyone of all the gifts that you cherish each new soul saved redeemed and molded by your mercy and your could be forgiven, set free. Lisa and Paul Fenstermacher, set free. Whitney Dizotel, good to see you. Really enjoying the show so far. Love your sound. Demetria, love the Narrow Road song. Uh, Dana echoes, loved Sela so much. Yes. 
Uh, of course, Kim, Perry, Liz's mom. Liz reminded me to get in here. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, Carl Standifer says, of all, still gives me goosebumps every time I hear it. Thank you, Lord, for Lisa and Paul and their music. Christy says, love that song. Good stuff there from Paul and Lisa Fenstermacher. Uh, and of course, let us know where are some of the places where we can follow your musical journey along the way and stay in touch and all these latest releases up forthcoming and where you're going to be at. Tell us where we can follow you and connect up with your music. Um, definitely on, uh, on my website, lisafenstermacher.com. And then if you do, if you Google Lisa Fenstermacher music, you'll find, you know, YouTube channel and youtube videos mainly music yeah <laughs> let's uh, of course uh pray for you guys as um get ready to transition here it's great to have you and honor to have you both here on red's room Thank tonight you. let us pray joe says wow this stuff there rosanna says yes loving it Thank you all. Your huge blessing uh, reminds me of the mamas and the papas music from years ago. <laughs> right. How about that? Oh, and wow. she's like, hell's my age, doesn't it? Wow. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh. That was one of the, the great comparisons there. There you wow. go. Yeah. Mamas and the papas. So yeah, Paul's like, I'll take that. Yeah. Good stuff there. Well, that's great. Follow me. Just thank you for Paul and for Lisa and for their band. Lord, just continue to give them a heart of song that they would continue to just write and perform music that continues to impact a generation, not only where they're at in Maryland, but all the way up and down the eastern seaboard and all the way across the country with their great music. Lord, we just thank you for Paul and for Lisa. Continue to uphold them, continue to strengthen them, continue to provide for them as only you can, continue to bless them and their band and their music. And Lord, we just thank you for, for them being here tonight with us on another great night of Red's Room. Uh, bless them both. Bless their band. We thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. Thanks, friends, and for listening. Thank you, Paul and Lisa. Appreciate you joining us and being here with us.